Titled The Ultimate Survivor Saved from My Drug Hell, film and TV star Heike Berg tells an honest and detailed account of how fame almost ruined his life. He candidly shares how he was swallowed by drug addiction and how he lost everything, including nearly his life. While well, he says that uh, this offering is a beacon of hope for those struggling with addiction and uh, close family and friends uh, who are affected. He is in studio with us this morning to share more about uh, the story. I'm so excited to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. Hello, Paul. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. So you start off the book by saying, my name is Heike Berg and I'm a recovering addict. Yeah. Whereas in narc Narcotics Anonymous meetings, usually people say, hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm a drug addict. So I'm excited that in the title of this book, it already tells us that you are going through the process of recovery. You're finding yourself again. You're putting your life back together. Mm. And it, it's a story of, of triumph. Well, 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 what I want to say is it's, 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 um, I'm, I'm part of Narcotics Anonymous. So the reason you say you're a recovering addict is because you are never recovered. You'll never get to that place. You'll always have the, the disease of addiction and you constantly, every single day, have to work on yourself. But it's been a process of many, many, many years. Um, went to many treatment facilities and then I got clean and I was clean for uh, almost seven and a half years and I had a relapse. And that's when it kind of went quite bad. But it, uh, this year I'll be clean and serene again for 10 years. Oh, that's so, amazing. A big yeah. congratulations and well yeah, done. So why did you decide to put it out there in a book? Well, on the, on the Survivor of 2011, which was on Maldives, we, we entered. It was celebs versus plebs and I was one of the celebs that they invited and I won the Survivor, which was amazing and on that survivor um, I really had a, a very profound and a very special encounter with the Lord and I just felt this instruction to write my story but to also explain and give people um, really educate parents people that come from dysfunctional families and all families with more than one member is dysfunctional okay but there are degrees um, and just talk about addiction, um, how it affects the family, how it affects you, and also everything that comes with addiction, dual diagnosis, things like depression and bipolar, which is very real. Um, and I just felt I had to give it out and share it with the world. And it took me six years. I originally wrote it in Afrikaans. The Afrikaans was the number one, it was the number one bestseller in South Africa. And then Jacques Poe's book from the President's <laughs> Keeper came and just blew it out of the water, which is lovely. I mean, it was, it was amazing. I read the book. And then, um, because it did so well, the publishers decided, well, let's, let's put it out in English. And it's been amazing and tremendous just to see how, how it has um, added value to so many families. But mm. I mean, I'm just one story of so many stories that have recovered, because there's really, really, really hope. Indeed. Yeah. I, I mean, you mentioned um, in your book at how at such a young age you went through all these things and thoughts about yourselves that were negative. You didn't really like yourself. Maybe you weren't the most confident mm. kid around. Do you agree with the statement that addiction starts for one reason but continues for another? And no, I don't agree with that. You don't agree with no. that? Okay. No, no, no. I think, I think it's a combination of so many things. And <clears throat> I mean, you've got a biological aspect. You've got a, um, there's a spiritual side to it. There is a, a physiological um, there is a, uh, a psychological aspect. There are so many things. I mean, I know kids today that, that start using drugs and they don't even know why they use drugs. They come from good families. They from, come from functional families. I often ask parents, do you know why your kids use drugs? And they say, well, because they're depressed or it's bullying and everything. I say, no, it's because it's so nice. That's the reason why people use it, because it's a party. It's, 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 they don't manufacture drugs um, to make you feel bad. They manufacture it to, to give you a party it's 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 so nice so but it, obviously down the road um only far you know down the road the consequences might come in but but there are many many elements i think most addicts when you speak to them or recovering addicts had a feeling of not being a part of always feeling apart from um not feeling comfortable in the in who they are um and then obviously when you start getting involved in that scene you start feeling a sense of belonging um, and, and that's kind of how it happens. And today it's so commercial. I mean, so many people use it. There are so many commercial users out there now that marijuana has been decriminalized or, 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 or legalized in, in, to a lesser degree or more. It's, a, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking because it, it did start with me with, with Dacha. And that's where most people start from. And if you look at all the countries in the world where they have decriminalized the use of marijuana, you can look over the, the past generations, and I'm talking uh, about most countries in Europe, that the value system 
um, of that country started taking a knock because it starts in the family and it starts with a father and people start using it in a couple of years down the line kids in this country is going to use it like like we like people drink alcohol and and it just affects the family it affects the father role in the house because it starts with the father being the king and the priest and the leader of the house and eventually that kind of flows through into the community and the morale of the country just takes a dip all right now your story is is a story of hope i mean uh, when people mm. come to you for for advice uh, i know a lot of people would say don't get started but obviously that's not real because Young people start. No, because they Anyone start, yeah. can start. Uh, how would you advise someone? Who's well, I mean, I don't, to I don't tell anybody. I don't tell anybody not to use it. I'm, I mean, it's just, it's just a, when I go to schools and I speak in corporate companies and I do all kinds of things. Um, it's obviously it, it, it causes harm. But I say to people, you know, if you're man enough to use it, there's always consequences, and you've got to be man enough to to face up to your consequences. They will be consequences and um, oftentimes they are dire consequences and and the consequences will eventually always be jails uh, jails institutions and death that's kind of that's that's where you'll end up and and <clears throat> but rock bottom doesn't have to be on the streets and with nothing there's um, a rock bottom the term where, where that comes from it means the place of return um, many many years ago when they um, when they were digging the foundations for buildings they didn't know how deep to to build the trenches before they could start throwing the the, the foundation so they they started digging until they, they got to the first bedrock that they couldn't get through and that was the point rock of return so, so so rock bottom means the point of return and you can get a spiritual rock bottom you can get an emotional rock bottom you don't have to be on the streets to 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 go so deep but unfortunately some people just never come clean and that's the sad part of addiction it is a progressive illness and with some people, it's just, they never get out of it. Oh, unfortunately, but we are glad that you are yeah. still fighting to stay clean. Yeah. And congratulations yeah. on all your success. Thank success you. of your Thank book. You, Definitely getting the English version for myself. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And it's available at, at, in uh, all the major bookstores. So. Oh, okay. Thank you so Thank much. You the ultimate survivor. Thank you, so busy. <laughs> <laughs> Saved <laughs> from my drug health. This is an honest narration of Full Man TV star um, Heike Berg's battle with drug addiction and how he managed to pull himself out of that deep hole. Do you stay with us here on Morning? Love will have more for you when we return.